reader friends, welcome back to story time. Happy Easter! Today we're reading another story, which is called The Littlest Easter Bunny, written by Brandy Dougherty, illustrated by Jan Jamie Fogg. But before we get started, please subscribe. This means so much. Let's get started. The littlest Easter bunny. Penny was a bunny. She lived with her family in a warren in the Easter town. There were many bunnies in Penny's community. She was the littlest one. It was springtime and Penny was excited. This year, she would get to help the town prepare for Easter. There are so many important jobs to do to get the Easter Bunny ready for the holiday. Penny just had to find the right one out. Ooh, these look all fun. Penny's first stop was the egg painting studio. These animals were artists. They painted all the eggs the Easter Bunny hid. Penny's sister, Bea, showed her how to dip an egg in the dye. But the vats of dyeing were very big. Oh, Penny. Penny's next stop was her brother's sweets shop. Baxter made the biggest, most delicious marshmallow chicks and chocolate bunnies in the whole town. Baxter showed Penny how to pour the melty chocolate into the mold. Maybe you'll be better helping moms me. Penny? Baxter asked, looking around. Maybe you'll be better helping momsy, Baxter suggested. Penny hopped to her mother's basket weaving workshop. The Easter Bunny needed a lot of baskets for his deliveries. Weaving was more complicated than it looked. Penny got dizzy and spun in a circle, then crash. Oh dear, said Penny's mother. Why don't you be O.C. Popsy? Penny's father supervised the crew who filled the Easter basket with treats. Add the grass, then the chocolate bunnies, then the eggs with the special surprises inside. The other animals worked so fast. Penny's tiny paws couldn't keep up. Popsy peered into Penny's almost empty basket. Maybe next year, sweet girl, he said gently. Penny hopped outside, but it wasn't happy springtime hop time. It was a sad, pouty, cloudy day. Hop. There had to be one special Easter job she could do, even if she was little. Just then, Penny heard a noise coming from an azalea bush. She peeked inside to find Peck the Chip, and he was little just like Penny. Peck was pouty sad too. All the other chicks have found their special Easter jobs, he explained, except for me. Penny didn't like someone to see sad. She thought about how to make Peck happy, and she got an idea big enough for both of them. With a little help from Penny's family, Penny and Peck started making their own Easter baskets filled with treats. And the baskets were little, just like them. Easter Day was almost here! The whole town was bustling around helping prepare the Easter Bunny for the big morning. Suddenly, Bea and Baxter hopped past. The Easter Bunny egg kiters got spring fever. They can't go with him. Penny and Peck looked at each other. We can do it, Penny cried. You're too little, Baxter said. The Easter Bunny needs little helpers, Penny argued. We can find the best hiding spots. Penny and Peck sprang into action. 
they took their many baskets to the Easter Bunny's office. They told him all the reasons why they were perfect egg hiders, and showed him the tiny treasures they made for kids who are little, just like them. Easter Bunny listened quietly. Finally, he cleared his throat and said, "I think you might be right." Yay! Penny and Peck had the best time helper, helping the Easter Bunny hide all the eggs. They found new and clever hiding spots, and their many Easter eggs were perfect for the littlest kids to find. They returned to Easter Town, big smiles and even bigger stories to tell. Their families were so proud. Woo! Turns out that Penny and Peck were not. Too little to have important jobs on Easter, but more than that, they were not too little to make a friend. Because sometimes the most special things are also the littlest. The end. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. See you later in another story.